Let's begin with a very common question. What is 30% of 140? There are two ways you can find the percentage of a number. You can either change the percent into a fraction or into a decimal. If you're doing it manually, changing percent into a fraction is the easiest method. In our previous video, we learned that percent is a special fraction where the denominator is always 100. So 30% in fraction is 30 over 100. And the word off means you multiply, in this case, with the number 140. Since 140 is a whole number, changing it into a fraction comes with 1 as the denominator, which you may or may not show. But for the purpose of this video, we will write 1 so you can clearly see where the numbers are coming from. Take a look at the given numbers. Clearly, you can still reduce the fractions into simplest forms so that we can have a much smaller number to work with and much easier to multiply. Since we have two zeros in the numerator and two zeros in the denominator, we might as well cancel the zeros, leaving us with only 3 and 14. Thereby, when multiplied, we get a product of 42. So, for our answer, 30% of 140 is 42. Another way to find the percentage of a number is by changing percent into decimal. This other method is much easier, especially when you're using a calculator. Just change 30% into a decimal, which is 0 0.3, and multiply by 140, and the product is 42. Here is another question pattern. 15 is what percent of 300? Let us rephrase the question so we can clearly understand what the problem is asking for. It says 15 out of 300 is what percentage? Looking at the number sentence, it is as simple as only changing fraction into a percentage. We previously learned that when we change fraction into a percentage, we only need to multiply the fraction by 100. So to express 100 as a fraction, since it is a whole number, the denominator is 1. You can see that we can make our number much smaller by canceling the two zeros in the number above and the other two zeros in the number below. We now have 15 over 3 or 15 divided by 3 which is a very small number to work with. And obviously, the answer is 5. So, 15 of 300 is 5%. We can check if our answer is correct. Let's see if 5% of 300 is 15. So, 5 over 100 times 300. Cancel the two zeros in the number above do the same with the two zeros in the number below. Now we have 5 times 3, which is 15. Therefore, our answer is correct. Here is a similar question. 24 is what percent of 96? To clearly understand what the problem is asking for, let's rephrase the question. It says, 24 out of 96 is what percentage? Again, this is just changing fraction into percent by multiplying the fraction by 100. The given fraction 24 over 96 can still be reduced into its simplest form so we get a much smaller number. By dividing the fraction by 24, we get an equivalent fraction of 1 over 4 times 100. Since 100 is a whole number, expressing it into a fraction, it comes with a denominator 1. We now have 100 over 4 or 100 divided by 4, which is 25. So 24 over 96 is 25%. Let's check if our answer is correct. 
Let's see if 25% of 96 is 24. So 25% can be expressed as 25 over 100 times 96. We can still reduce 25 over 100 into a much smaller number by dividing it by 25. We get an equivalent fraction of 1 over 4. We now have 96 over 4 or 96 divided by 4, which is 24. This means our answer is correct. Let's try to do simple word problems with percentage. Take a look at this one. Rene had 80 marbles. He gave 20% of the marbles to his friend Brile. How many marbles did Brile get? So to find the number of marbles Brile received is to find what is 20% of 80. Express 20% as fraction with 20 over 100 and substitute the word off with the symbol X, which means times 80. We can cancel the two zeros in the number above and do the same with the two zeros below. Now we only have to multiply 2 and 8, and the product is 16. So 20% of 80 is 16. Going back to the question, how many marbles did Brile get? For our answer, Brile got 16 marbles. Here is another problem. There are 125 mangoes in a box and 75 of them are ripe. Calculate the percentage of ripe mangoes. Let's simplify the problem to better understand what is being asked. It says 75 ripe mangoes out of the total number of mangoes, which is 125. Then calculate the percentage. This problem can be solved by just converting fraction into percentage by multiplying the fraction by 100. The fraction 75 over 125 can still be reduced into simplest form by dividing both numbers by 25, giving us an equivalent fraction of 3 over 5. Multiply by 100 with 1 as the denominator. We now have 300 over 5 or 300 divided by 5, which is 60. There you have it. For our answer, we have 60% of the mangoes are ripe. So that's it. I hope you have reached this part of the video and that you now have a better understanding about how to get the percentage of a number. Thank you for making it this far. My name is Teacher Bell and this is Lessons Made Easy. Since you're already here, you might as well punch the subscribe button for more learning opportunities in the future. And feel free to browse other interesting videos in this channel. This would be all for now. Stay safe everyone and have fun learning.